what you hello welcome to scratch 3d printing in this video i'll be going through some crucial tools that i use for 3d printing and i think you should also be using them as well let's rush today's topic so before we get into this list of tools that i think everybody should be having if they are doing 3d printing i just want to say that this is just the tools that I use. It's my list. I'm not telling you to go and buy these yourself. It's just my tools, the tools that I found really useful, and I find myself use them all the time. And sometimes I use these tools for the application that they're not intended to be used on, and it's that good. This list is not in any particular order, like number one is not the best, number 10 is the worst. It's just a list, okay? So number one, or the first tools, that is the most useful tools for 3D printing is this sharp tweezer right here. I use this tweezer like every single day of 3D printing. Every single time I 3D print, I use this thing. This thing can be used in so many ways. As you can see there, it's all bent, it's all like cricket and stuff like that. It's not sharp anymore. That's how much I use this tools. So a couple things that you can use this tool for. The nozzle. The nozzle is oozing so you can go in and grab the ooze out of the nozzle so that you can do this auto homing and auto bed leveling more precise. You can also use this thing to pick up very small 3D printed parts and you can use this thing to put 3D printed parts into a precise spot that is small and hard to reach with our fingers, right? So this thing is very useful for those. And the back here is also useful. So let's say you want to push in a rod like this into a very small hole like in this part. You can put it in there and then use this back to push it in and it works pretty well. But there are other tools that can handle this better. But if you don't have it lying around anywhere, you can use the back of this as pressure and push it through just like that. It's very nice. These are sharp so this is perfect for that. The colors are coming off. I've been doing this for a long time. So everything in this video that I mentioned, I will leave a link down below. So if you are interested in them, you can go and grab it yourself. And I can go on forever, but let's get to the next thing. The second tool that is useful for 3D printing is a flush cutter plier right here. As you can see, this one is broken. I got it on the CR6SE and it's been like four or five years I've been using this tool for so long and it finally broke. I still got the piece right here. And the other day I tried cutting a filament with it and it just snapped. So now I'm using this brand new one that comes on the K1 Max. So things that are useful for this tool is that if you want to cut something so that it's flat and flush, this is really useful for that because this is straight and the sharp end is at the very bottom here. So let's say you have like a filament. So imagine this is the filament. You want to cut it, you just do that and cut it and it will be flush with your 3D printed parts. That is very useful. You can also use this to remove supports from 3D printed parts and it's so much better than using your hand or some other tools. You can cut the support in half and then just rip it off. You can also use this to cut filament at a 45 degree angle so that you can put into your extruder. And like I said, there's so many things that you can do with one tool like this. It, the list just go on forever, but let's get to number three. Number three that is useful for 3D printing is this deep bearing tool right here. When I first started 3D printing, I did not know about these tools and this tool is very useful for getting a smooth edge. So let's say this big 3D printed part, right? Let's say for this part, I use a brim at the edge here. After I got rid of the brim, there's still stuff that are left in there because as you know, brim kind of gets stuck with the 3D printed parts. You can just put these on here and then just pull it towards you. And just like that, it makes a nice, nice cut with this piece that comes off very nicely and it gives a smooth edge here. I am loving this tool. Before I got this deburn tool, I was using these flush cutters just to cut the edge of the 3D printed parts. And I used my pocket knife here to shape off the parts and it leaves a very bad edge there. Sometimes you do it and it gets stuck in there. So there's like cut, cut, and it's just so bad. So let's say, imagine this is a circle. It's small, you can use this thing Put it in there and just twist it around like that. And you can make the circle a little bit bigger so that it fits more nicely. So you can do so many things with tools. You can smash things on the bottom here. You can smash things here too. I didn't realize that these tool only goes in one way. If you pull it towards yourself, it works. But if you push it on the other side, it doesn't work. Number four for tools that a 3D printer need is some 
Allen Wrench or Allen Keys, whatever you want to call them. So for 3D printing, I feel like this is like a must tool because without these tools, you can't work on your 3D printers. And I found that many of the 3D printers use these kind of screws instead of the axe or hexagon or whatever. Yeah, most 3D printers don't use these kind of screw head. They use Allen Wrench screw head. Most of them, yeah, 99% use these Allen key, Allen wrench for them. And still, you can use these in different ways. You unscrew the screws. Let's say in this piece, you put a bearing in there. What you can do is use this thing, pop it from the other side, smash it, and the bearing will be coming flying out. You can also use this as leverage. Like if you want to pull something out and it's stuck like this, you can just do this and it just push it out like that but yeah the main purpose of these and then wrench is take off your 3d printers fix it and then put it back on number five that is useful for 3d printing is a screwdriver either a flat head or these um screwdrivers head i'm not sure what these are called i did not look them up but whatever it's these types of screw head you need some types of screwdrivers either this one this one this one, this one, this one, I love this one. It's a magnetic or even a very teeny tiny screw flat head screwdriver here. I don't know where the other one goes, but here, that's a very, very teeny tiny screwdriver. <laughs> that is so small. Yeah, and yeah, you need screwdrivers. Number six tools that is useful for 3D printing is a huge large plier like this or cutter like this. For me, I use this to cut stainless steel with this. It's perfect for cutting stainless steel rod. It's perfect to cut something that is hard. And if you don't want to have like multiple of these lying around, you can just get this kit that I got here. It comes with five tools and you can just swap this out for a different one. It's very easy to do so. You just squeeze, pull out, and then just pop a new one in there, squeeze the handle, and just pull out like that. And now you got a scissor. There's also this tool right here. And now you got wire cutter, a smaller ply up here. There's also a cutter for thick wires with this one. And the last tool head that this thing had is this crimped right here. You can crimp wires, you can crimp housing for wires. Very easy to do with this huge handle, very soft handle here. Well, yeah, that is the pretty much six tools that I use the most for 3D printing. There are many, many, many other lists that I can go on forever, but here are some fast and quick on the roll mesh that I use from here to there, time, from time to time. Super glue and adhesion promoter. So this kind of goes together, super glue. Sometimes if I want to connect to 3D printing parts, strong bond i just do some super glue or if i can get myself some glue i would but some but those are just always out of stock but i'll be keeping my eyes on those another honorable mention is some lubrication so i got super lube i ran out of this so i just <laughs> got myself more super lube they are actually really nice lubrications so yeah this one is like a liquidy super lube and this one is liquid but it's a lot thicker loop so yeah I use this from time to time but not every single day or not for every single 3d printing parts like the other tools that I use just get yourself some loop if you are printing mechanical or functional 3d printing parts another honorable mention is a soldering tool so I got this soldering tool like a long 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 time ago because I did not know what I was doing I could have bought a better set but this is it and I'm still using this soldering tools until today for heat inserts, for building batteries and stuff like that, that things that just need heat. And while we're on the heating part, a blowtorch is a really useful tool. But like I said, I'm not using this for every single 3D printing part. It's just here to there, and yeah, a blowtorch is really nice for 3D printing parts. You can get rid of stringing. You can get rid of things. Let's say you want to bend a 3D printing part a little bit. You can just quickly heat it and bend it. So yeah, a blowtorch is really nice, useful for 3D printing parts. Well, I think this video has been going on for way too long, so I'll stop my list here. Maybe I'll do more in the future, but as of right now, tools that I use for 3D printing and for 3D printed parts to fix them, to get rid of support, just in general for 3D printing. Those are the most useful tools for me 
that I use every single day. I actually want to know what tools you are using for 3D printed parts. Leave your comments down below telling me are you using these kind of tools that I'm using? Do you think that there are more useful tools that can be used for 3D printed parts? And what tools are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. I am very interested in hearing what you guys are using and maybe I'll go and buy myself some of those tools. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel, and as always, keep on 3D printing. But before you leave, if you are in need of lithium ion batteries, check out my store right here, it's scratch3dbattery.store. You can choose from various types of connectors, T-plug with a balanced charger, or just a simple JST-SM plug, or if you need XT60 or XT30, it's also available with a balanced charger. You can choose from various types of battery pack and connectors that suits your needs. So once again, if you need high quality lithium ion battery pack, check out my store scratch 3d battery store there will be a link in the description down below and thank you so much